everyone. Today I want to talk about some toys that will help get energy out if you have very active kids. Who doesn't? Um, some toy options that can be inside um, that won't break the bank. I have some starting out at very inexpensive all the way to expensive. Different options that may fit you depending on the size of your house um, and how much space you have available. So let's get started at some indoor toys that can get a lot of energy out for your little ones. The first one is the fabric balloon ball cover. I will link all of these in the bottom. So the fabric balloon ball cover is just a fabric design, looks kind of like a beach ball, and you put a balloon in and blow it up. So this is also great for travel because when you're done, you just cut or pop the balloon and it just folds down to a piece of cloth. So it adds a little bit of weight to a balloon. If you have toddlers that love hitting balloons and playing games with balloons, um, it makes it a little safer than a ball inside. Uh, and it adds just a tiny bit of weight so it goes up and down a little bit more than just a balloon would. So this is also an option that could be homemade if you know how to sew or someone you know knows how to sew. There are patterns online that you can find and you can make one in their favorite print. Um, so that could be a homemade gift. So that's number one. Number two is a game called Seekaboo. This is kind of like memory. Um, except it is a larger pieces, circles and squares that are put all over the floor. And then they're given a, p a card and they go and they flip over that color until they find the matching card and they come back. This can also be played cooperatively. So if you have more than one kid or you have a play date, they can go and run and do this together and brace and time themselves or let's find all the red ones, let's throw the blue ones. It can be mixed up and done in a variety of ways, which is really nice um, because if you're like me and it's better to not bring out the competitive side in the kids, then they can do it together and then they both win, which is really nice. Um, that game I think is about $20. The balloon ball cover, if you buy it, I saw like maybe $12. So then we'll move on to the next one. Number three is an indoor swing. Now this of course depends on the age of your kids and also how much space you have available and if you even are interested in an indoor swing. I know some parents say no way, I know other parents that swear by it and say it is the best thing they ever put in their house. We don't have space for it right now because um, I feel like it has to be a dedicated area. But the more I thought of it, it could also be taken down pretty easily. If you have the hardware attached, you could easily take it down and when it's not in use and put it in a closet, it wouldn't be that difficult. So indoor swings range for anywhere from $20 up to $75, depending if you're getting a regular traditional swing, if you're getting the hammock type, whatever. But look up some of those if you're interested. It will help with the kids playing independently and having um, some get their wiggles out because they can be active with that. Number four is a sit and spin or a saucer. So a sit and spin classic, you probably played with it when you were little. I know I did. Um, again, sits, doesn't take much space, they can do it independently, and it helps them to just get some action into their day if they're stuck inside all the time. So sit and spin, those run about $30, $35. They also have what's called a saucer, which is um, kind of like just a hard plastic big bowl, um, and they can stand on it and balance. Um, they can also flip it over, and then it's like a climbing rock that they can, you know, stand on, climb on, jump off of. So I think those are about the same price as sit and spin. And then the board just depends on what kind of quality and where you get it from. Um, I usually see those uh, more in Montessori or traditional um, type settings. I haven't seen any plastic ones. I've only seen real wood boards. So three, those three options kind of similar in the amount of space they take up. Of course, the saucer and uh, the semicircle are more like balancing kind of a sit and spin is the is the spinning motion which kids really like and don't mind as much as we do as we get older spinning around and around for hours for that we have stepping stones these are really cool and my kids are getting these for christmas so they have different um rubber stepping stones that could be indoor or outdoor um, and i'll link some below that are from amazon i think they're 35 or 37 dollars and they can actually stack all together and not take up much space, can be put away in a closet when they're not in use. These are just free play however they wanna use them. They can put two on top of each other and have a high step to jump off of. They can jump from one to the other. They can play, you know, you're on the blue one, I'm on the red one. There's all kinds of possibilities they can do with these, but they step and they jump and they run and they get energy out right inside your house. So stepping stones is the next one. Number six is the roadie pony. 
And I think you probably have seen this before. It's the little bouncy pony. I will link a picture um, and a link for you. I think they're about $45, $50, depending on if you get the Rody Pody brand or if you get an off brand. They are inflatable and I know kids love them. We don't have one, but it's on my list to get for my kids. They bounce and bounce and bounce. A lot of families even have two of them because the kids like to play on them together. Um, and all the way up to, I don't know, I've seen even like eight year olds that are on those things bouncing around, <laughs> even though they're way too big, they still love them. So roadie ponies for bouncing and another one for jumping and bouncing is number seven, which is a mini trampoline. If you have space in your house, they have mini trampolines that run about $50. Little Tykes has one that has a bar. I will link that as well. Just jumping, 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 jumping kids like to jump. That's what it's about. The mini one is really, they do sell mini ones with the net around them. Um, so kind of whatever you prefer. So it's only, uh, you know, maybe six inches off the ground. It's very close to the ground, maybe three or four feet in diameter. And they run about $50. So mini trampoline, if you have space for that, that's another way to get the wiggles out. Number eight is a gymnastics bar, a gymnastics horizontal bar. Now I have heard awesome things about these. I don't have one of these yet, but if we had the space, I would love to. Um, this is more, I think probably a little bit past toddlers or maybe starting maybe three, but probably four years old and a little bit higher. Um, it's just a horizontal bar and you put some padding underneath and you let them go to town and they hang and they swing and they flip and they jump and they do whatever they want. Um, so this is really free play on a bar, um, and tumbling all around it, um, goes really well with the nuggets couch, which we'll get to that. They do have some that can be collapsed and folded up and stored in a closet. So, um, if you have the space for it, but you don't want it out all the time, that would be an option. I saw these run sometimes around a hundred dollars is what it looked like. Um, anywhere from hundred to 150 to a hundred, just depending on what all good kind of you want to get. So I'll put a link of one below. I don't have that one. I'm just giving you guys an example. Of course you can search for what you think is great for you and what has the best reviews. Number nine is the pickler triangle. Pickler triangle is two climbing bars in the shape of a V. If you haven't heard of it, um, they're wooden, and the rungs, they climb up the rungs. Um, my kids use it as, we do have one, as a, um, a little house. They put blankets over it, they play underneath, they climb up. Um, and then you can have attachments, accessories that come with it, which would be like a, um, a slide, ours is flat on one side, sanded down, and then the other side you can flip over as little climbing pieces, so kind of like a little climbing wall ramp. The kids get a lot of use out of this. One thing I really like about our Pickler Triangle is that it folds up. So it's not super small, but it goes from the triangle V to flat. And then I can put it stored away somewhere when they're not using it. Um, because when it's out, it's right in the middle of the living room. And I don't want that out all the time, just when they're using it. So that has really been really good for them climbing and jumping and making up games together with the Pickler Triangle. There is also plenty of plans online if you would like someone if you know someone who could build your pickler triangle um, you could get the plans and that could be a gift they could make for your kids and then the last one is the nugget couch i am dying to get a nugget couch because everybody i know cannot speak highly enough about them they are so versatile there's a hundred different ways you can play with them and it just allows the kids to be creative and to get their energy out but it is safe because it's soft and they can jump and they can build and they can play and create and have just their own space and their own world with the nugget couch. People I know say the nugget couch is literally played with every day in their house with their kids of many ages from, you know, two up to from one really up to once they're crawling, they can be crawling on these shapes all the way up to 10 to 12. They just love the nugget couch. So I will link it below if you haven't heard about it. I'm surprised, but look it up. Um, they are a little costly. I think they're usually about $250. Um, but everyone I know says it is well worth it. It's the most played with thing in their house. So those are 10 great things that are inside toys, but will help get your kids energy out and have them to be, help them to be active when they cannot be outside because of weather. So I hope that's helpful. And please let me know if you have other suggestions for this list that I can add to the list. Comment below if you have these and what your favorite is and give me any suggestions on other easy peasy videos you would like to hear about. Have a great day.
Bye.